Check out this home security video. Looks like some kids just hanging out on the front porch. But wait. They knock on the front door, then on the picture window. And finally on the window next to the door. No answer, so they start walking away, but they're not leaving. Folks living in this beautiful neighborhood called the Aviation Subdivision have seen this scenario before. They watch you and see you when you leave. And they'll come and knock on the door. If nobody answers the front door, then they go to the back door. Nobody answers the back door, then they come in the back way. Sure enough, the kids on the front porch reappear in the driveway after jumping a six-foot security fence. First, they try to open a window and a side door. Notice how their hands are tucked up inside their sweatshirts. It's not because their hands are cold. And seconds later, a brick through the window, just as the homeowner pulls into the driveway. He blows his horn, scaring them off, then calls the police and shows them the video. And both of the cops at the same time goes, those are the twins. And they say, and this big head here, we just put a warrant out on him Wednesday. We know exactly who they are. That was five months ago, and nothing has happened to these kids. The homeowner had those security cameras installed because he'd had one break-in before and another attempt. And when that brick crashed through his window, he'd already made a decision to move. Another solid citizen in a neighborhood full of caring people, gone. And I tell you, you just can't find a person that, that loved Detroit more than, than I did. I still pay for this house. I didn't, I, I, I'm, I'm not walking away from it, but I'm not living in it. So he moved to Farmington, and the big fear in the aviation subdivision now is that others will follow. I'm seeing everybody slip away. You think others will go if they don't get better police protection? I'm, I'm almost positive others will go. Folks say they rarely see a patrol car in the neighborhood, and when something happens, they get the same old song and dance. You tell them you see somebody breaking in, it's not a priority. You tell them you see somebody stealing a car, it's not a priority. When do they, what, what is the priority here? I don't know who's making decisions about how manpower is dispersed, but neighbors don't feel safe. You'll hear from the police in a minute. Now more on the aviation sub. It's an area with a rich history. Check it out from the air. Half is in Detroit, the other half in Dearborn. That big X where the two main streets cross used to be an airport runway. It was a practice field for the Army during World War I. Later, the land was subdivided and homes were built around the runways. That's why they call it the aviation sub and it's one of Detroit's most stable areas. In a city that's steadily shrinking, this area has one of the lowest home vacancy rates in Detroit, according to Wayne State Center for Urban Studies. That means more working people who are gone during the day when most of those burglaries happen. They also have more things worth stealing. Look at this crime map of the area and you'll see what's happening. The shaded area is the aviation sub and the blue icons are robberies and home invasions that have happened in the last two months. There's a fair amount of crime, but look at the areas around it. That's a lot of break-ins and robberies. Residents suspect that crime is creeping into their area because the pickings are good. Young people who are not accustomed to not having what they want are going to take it from people that they think have it. That's the real world we live in. And that brings me back to these guys. Why didn't police make any arrests? They had it all on tape. And remember, cops said they knew two of them, the twins, and said they had a warrant out for a third. Detroit police say they made an effort on this case, but they ran into a problem. They knew the name of one of the twins, but they didn't know which was which. The only thing we saw him do was sit on the front porch. When the others went to the back and broke a window, he had walked off in another direction. Police also say the video wasn't clear enough to identify the kid who broke the window. Bottom line, they didn't think they had a case, so they never took it to the prosecutor. But the victim isn't buying it, and neither are his neighbors. They don't think police made much of an effort. And I know manpower is low. So what do we do? And the solution is not to say, we're doing the best we can. That's not good enough for you? That's not good enough. So why should you care about the survival of this neighborhood? Because so much of Detroit has been destroyed by crime, neglect, and abandonment. Can we really afford to have more good people driven out? I do hope this is going to turn around soon. Um, because if it doesn't, there's going to be more Detroiters leaving. You know, you can kiss goodbye to this aviation district. You can kiss goodbye to Indian Village. You can kiss goodbye to Rosedale Park and anything else where, where people are, are still decent people who are trying.